Welcome back. This is Chili Davis, and I'm back to another video. I want to welcome back all my subscribers and all my new viewers. This is the channel where we talk about my top stocks, and we also talk about dividend-paying stocks. So uh, today, um, Saturday, I'm just looking at my portfolio, and it looks like over the past week, we're up 1.61%, uh, but it was pretty much up and down, uh, just like this year has been 2022. Uh, the big stocks this week, of course, was Tesla and Netflix. Uh, Netflix was up over 14% and uh, Tesla was down over 5% after posting uh, quarterly earnings for 2022 Q Q3. Um, let's take a quick look at those two stocks because uh, that was the interest this week, uh, how the market was doing and uh, Tesla uh, I was a little surprised after Q3 earnings, uh, what happened, the stock falling down, uh, but it was a great opportunity to buy if you're looking long term. Uh, as I mentioned on my previous video, I talked it's about- It's 10 o'clock. On my previous video, I talked about how um, basically, you know, you have a three to five year time horizon where your money should come back if you invested it uh, in the peak of the market last year. Uh, probably give it a two to three year time horizon. But back to Tesla, uh, Tesla right now trading at a low um, this week, as low as 204. Uh, again, Tesla had a rough week. And uh, again, uh, that was after Q3 earnings on Wednesday evening. Uh, if we look at the week Tesla, uh, this was right after Q3 uh, earnings and the stock dropped. Uh, but it did rebound going into Thursday and Friday. Uh, but again, uh, the stock did drop. So that was a, a big uh, news nugget. Uh, Elon on the call did say that he thought the company could be worth $4 trillion uh, on the call. So if you want more information about that, visit ir.tesla and you can listen to the earnings call there. But as you can see on Wednesday, after the earnings call, the stock dropped uh, to a low of $203 per share. So that was one of the major stocks this week that reported earnings on Wednesday. Uh, now, the other stock that did great was Netflix. Uh, Netflix did report this week, uh, did see subscriber growth. And uh, because of that, the stock, uh, jumped this week over 13%. So again, two different stocks this week uh, made uh, dynamic changes. Tesla dropping over 5% and then re rebounding a little bit and Netflix gaining over 17%. Okay, so this was Tuesday uh, before uh, earnings call. And then after earnings call, boom, the stock went up over 17% after the news of subscriber growth and the new ad model, okay? So Netflix is coming out with a 699 uh, model, which will uh, include advertisements during uh, viewing the videos. Uh, and that will compete with likes of Disney and CBS and others, okay? So uh, just something to think about. Again, we had a great week uh, in the market. It was pretty much flat, but it did give us some positive news to see the first week of earnings uh, be at a good like. We also saw Bank of America. Uh, Bank of America was up after a good earnings call on Monday. So let's take a quick look at Bank of America. And if we see Bank of America had a good week, a little over 5% this week. So again, we had a great week in the market. Now next week, uh, there will be more companies report such as Apple and Microsoft. Okay, so those are two companies that will report next week, Microsoft and Apple. Okay, so uh, I, I think uh, closing out the year for Q2022, I think we'll, we'll do pretty good. Um, and then definitely after the elections, I think after November, uh, the market will be set to trend upwards. Uh, but we'll see. Again, uh, stocks like Bank of America did come out first week of earnings call, doing very well. And next week, we got Apple and Microsoft to report Q3 earnings. Uh, the earnings call is where they report for the previous quarter. 
uh, how much money they took in, how much profit, and how much uh, like margins they made. So uh, some stocks to look out for is Apple and Microsoft. So let's take a quick look at those two stocks. Okay, here we are, Apple. Uh, Apple uh, right now trading at 147. One for one hundred and forty-seven dollars and twenty-seven cents per share, and it has a fifty-two-week high of one hundred and eighty-two dollars and a fifty-two-week low of one twenty-nine. Now I've been a long-term investor in Apple. I've been in Apple now for over a year. Um, remarkable growth over the last couple of years. I'm going to stay long in the Apple, but again, they do report this week. Uh, Apple will report October twenty-seventh. Uh, here it is scheduled here, October 27th. They will report, and you can get more information on investor.apple.com if you want to look at previous course, how much revenue and how much profit they did. But on the earnings call, you will hear from people like the CEO, uh, Mr. Cook. You'll hear from the CFO and business analyst uh, ask Apple about the outlook of the company, okay? Uh, here it is, CNBC says, Stocks could break higher as Apple and big tech report earnings. Okay, you can check that out on CNBC.com. Also, it says here in Barron's, Barron's reports Apple stock is a top pick and sales will beat uh, earnings estimates, says uh, James uh, Morgan Stanley. Okay, so these are the uh, type of stocks you want to be involved with. Technology safe havens like Apple uh, and Microsoft. Okay, so let's look at the next company that will report this week, Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft will report this week as well as part of earnings season. This is Q3 of earnings season. So if we look here, uh, earnings, quarterly earnings Q4 for uh, Microsoft will be on October 25th. Okay, so that'll be probably Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, Microsoft will report earnings and as you see, the revenue has been up on the last quarter. Net, net income and earnings per share is up as well. So again, I talk a lot about Microsoft and Apple being safe havens for technology. Uh, Microsoft more with the cloud, not necessarily consumer products, but with market share, okay? So Microsoft, a great company to be part of. Also, they do pay a small dividend of 1.12%. Uh, the company was founded by Bill Gates and it's led currently by Santia Nadala. And uh, he's been doing an excellent job since uh, Steve Ballmer exited uh, a few years ago. So again, Microsoft shares were up on Friday, 2.53%. And over the last five days, they've been up just over 2.63%. So again, two companies to look out next week is Apple and Microsoft. They will report Q. Uh, three earnings for the quarterly profits and margins, and also give the forecast uh, for the rest of the year. So uh, those are two stocks that I wanted to talk about. Also, as earlier we mentioned, the three stocks that already kicked off earnings season, Bank of America uh, was up this week, pretty much 5.13% over the last week. And again, these are bank stocks. Bank stocks do pay dividends, so that's also a great way to make money passively. So that was my video today. I wanna to thank you for watching, thank you for listening. Please like, share. If you like to get started in your investment journey, please use my Robinhood link below. And everybody have a great week.